guys um, thank you for joining me on this video hope you're doing good and life has been treating you well if you have just joined me um, I've mentioned in the last video that I'm going to be reviewing three books uh, Wild by Cheryl Strait, uh, The Year of Yes by Shonda Rhimes and We Are Going to Need More Wine by Gabrielle Union um, in this video I'll be reviewing The Year of Yes by Shonda Rhimes um, so definitely keep an eye out for the other two videos to see the reviews for the other two books. Anyway, getting straight into it. So the year of yes, oh my goodness. I actually saw Shonda Rhimes uh, on an interview, I think it was with Oprah, and they were talking a little bit about her book and I was like, oh maybe I should get this book because Shonda Rhimes of course is an, is an amazing writer uh, she's responsible for creating you know Scandal, Private Practice, uh, Grace Anatomy and um, she is a, I think a co-producer on the uh, what is it called Murder something how to get away with murder so she's she's an amazing writer and I can tell you what, when I picked up this book, my goodness, I was not disappointed at all. Like, the way I really love her writing style. She writes, like, the way she writes, you feel like you're in her head. And you're, like, you're in there sorting out the mess and, and trying to um, come up with the solution with her. Like, it's, it's like, yeah, it, it, was, it was really good. I felt it was really good. So, the year of yes, um, she talked about a lot of things. She talks, she talks about, uh, she, she, of course it's in her life, but the lesson that has, that has come through is saying yes to opportunities that come, that come into our lives. Because most of the time we say we say no out of fear, but not knowing that maybe this opportunity is what would have given us the big break or what would have opened up like many doors for us. So she talks about she she talks about saying yes, um, even if you're afraid, saying yes to have a more fulfilled, richer life. And I really, really, really enjoyed that lesson because I'm the kind of person who's like always saying no, nah, like no. Nah going out no and I'm, I'm not doing this no that's true but yeah the year of years this was like wow you know the, the the amount of good that we sometimes say no to is amazing um and as well she also talks about saying yes to saying no so sometimes we have friends that are toxic and we like sometimes we don't even see that they're toxic, but they're not out for our good. They're they like toxic people. So saying yes to saying no to some ridiculous re requests, saying yes to saying no to uh, people who are no good for us, saying yes to saying no um, about things that we don't like, um, and being honest about things that we don't want in our life not just pretending and going along with the flow just because just to please other people and so i really really enjoyed this book guys if you can get it get it like this is one of the books that i just like all day just recommend just like it's amazing i thought it was amazing anyway um yeah i think the favorite quote in this book uh, oh, uh, one favorite one for me was losing yourself does not happen all at once losing yourself happens one no at a time that that's deep that's deep right there that's profound and the other one that I really really that really really like was like wow like you know remember you need to do something about your life kind of thing is i work hard it says i work hard that's how i succeed that's how anyone succeed so there's no secret recipe there's no secret formula there's no spin special genetic genetics that make other people more 
it's a cis. More susceptible. More sub what am I on about? More susceptible. I know the word. Okay, that word to um, success. But it's just hard work. Anyway, thank you so much for hanging out with me, guys. Uh, as I said before, please do check out the other two videos. If you have a suggestion of a book that you'd love me, like me to read and review, please leave a link, uh, um, a comment below, let me know. And of course, I would love to know what you're currently reading and what your favorite book of all time is. Please leave a comment below. Thank you so much for hanging out with me, guys. Till next time, see you later.